What is good everybody? We are inside of an awesome funeral home. I just took a little walk around this place and it is completely filled with all kinds of cool, creepy old funeral stuff. We are actually in the autopsy room right now to start this off. We kind of had a little bit of trouble getting inside of here but then found a reasonably open window right in front of us so that was pretty cool. Then we ran into the owner who actually allowed us to explore this place which is double cool. We are here with a bunch of people. We are squatted to death right now. We got Exploring with Jose California. Go subscribe to that guy. What's up guys? Of course, Exploring with Josh. <laughs> What's your IG? Infiltrate. Infiltrate? What's your IG? Underscore obscure with a V. There you go. Go follow those guys. We're going to see how much we can get out of this place. He gave us like 10 or 15 minutes, but you guys know I'm going to be in here for a couple hours at this point. So let's see what we can get out of here. So I was just telling Josh that what they used to do inside of this room is put the people on the table, drain out all their blood, take out all their organs, fill them with formaldehyde to keep them fresh during the funeral, and wheel them out inside their caskets, all fresh like they're kind of living, I guess. But yeah, that's what they used to do on this table, which is pretty crazy when you come to think about it. This place is open for about 40 years, and it, I mean, it, how, many, how many bodies did they have in here every single day? I mean, if it was two, every single day i mean that's i don't even want to do the math on that right now and bore you with it but you can imagine how many people just were on top of here it's probably more than i'm even thinking at this point This is the area right here where they used to view the person's body and they left one of the caskets here, which is pretty cool. On this channel, we've never been to a funeral home before, so this is a really cool little explore. Something different, something creepy. We bring the creep factor back to the channel. But yeah, but the whole viewing area is completely collapsed in as we saw. This whole place has been taken on damage. People have been coming in, scrapping, taking down the art. There was really cool art. I'll show you in the other room where it was, but there was really cool art inside of here. Somebody stole urns that were inside of here, I'm told. So yeah, it's, it's been pretty crazy. It's been pretty much ransacked. I wish I would have gotten here a long time ago, but unfortunately, we're not from this area of the country, so we didn't get a chance to run here real quick.
So like I said before, in this room was a bunch of artwork that was either stolen or removed during the renovation attempt in this place. But this was a mural of Chicago at one point in time, which I wish I would have gotten the chance to see and show you guys, take some pictures of it and obviously video it. But that's the unfortunate things about these places. You gotta kind of rush to them, get to where everything is before either it gets stolen or removed by somebody. So, but that's what was here. So I'm assuming right now that these are the offices for this funeral home. It's just um, a bunch of different rooms. I'm sure they file paperwork here and plan the you know, funerals up here and what had to be done and all that stuff. That's all I can assume, but I just walked into this first room right here. So we're gonna go check out this, what I thought was an apartment at first from looking on the outside, but obviously it, it attaches through the inside and appears to be offices. There used to be an awesome wooden sewing machine here that you cranked with your foot. Uh, two classic couches, awesome coffee table with leftover obituaries from all the people that were here. Wow. Photos. It was, it was just beautiful. Just like the, it had the I Love Lucy type feel. Yeah, there. yeah, you like know, that old school fifties well, type feel. Yeah, with the bedrooms, with each one with the separate beds and the, the dresser in the middle there. Yeah. The lamps here, the dowels. It was like you're frozen in time coming in here. And they had a deer mounted up on top. Oh, there was a deer head here. There was a deer head sitting right here. Look at the heavy nail for the deer head. Oh right wow. Right here, it was sitting. Just huge antlers. Beautiful desk here. You can see the picture of John Cermak. There was a huge. Who's John Cermak? John Cermak was the, he was like the head in charge of all the funeral directories here in Illinois. Yeah. They named the street after him. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So that's why it's telling me not to open that. So learn from my mistake. Don't open that. Also, this is a really cool old stove. I love these old stoves. I've said that before. I know I've said that before, but I do love these old stoves. The knobs. The, I just, just the whole thing about it. I love the old stuff. It's cool. It's really cool. It's probably worth a lot of money, too. It's like a bedroom right here that we just found a pigeony. I feel terrible for him, but I really can't do anything for him. That really sucks. Yo! Yeah, I don't know, man. Don't touch it. Don't do that. Yeah, well, that's what I was saying. Like, birds have diseases and yeah. stuff like that, so, like. But, dude, I mean, the fact of the matter is that if all, like, before, you touch it, you yeah. might not be living. Yeah, I'm gonna take a chance. Definitely sucks. Yeah. Did you take it? So I was like, this is kind of like an office area for this entire funeral home. They have all the paperwork, journals, the ledgers from 1992 inside of here, all that stuff. I also just want to say, like, I feel terrible for that pigeon in the other room, but also at the same time, I know somebody will say, why didn't you put it out of its misery or anything like that? Because, I mean, straight up, like, I'm not into killing animals in, in any way, and like, I know it's probably suffering in a way or something like that but I, you know I I can't do that if you can then I guess you're a better man than me but I, I just can't do that I actually I can't even look at it do what it's doing right now because it's making me it's just making me upset I don't like I don't like when little living things have to um, 
suffer and I, I and uh, I and I've never taken the life of anything like that so that's not something that I'm gonna do This reminds me of the Peaky Room in Disneyland and Disney World. If you know, give me a thumbs up. So the more I look around this top floor, the more I begin to feel that it might have been like half an apartment and half of an office for the funeral home. It seems like somebody lived in this section of the top floor over here. As I go around, I'm just finding more kind of personal belongings than what would be found inside of just an office or something like that. It might have been used for storage like we've seen in other businesses or something like that for somebody that might have went bankrupt, foreclosed on their home and just had no place else to store their stuff. But yeah, I'm, I'm kind of thinking that right now, this is definitely somebody's apartment. And I'm digging the old wallpaper. Look at this old brown flower wallpaper. It's such a throwback from the 70s. Alright you guys, so that was a really cool explore. Obviously I had to end it off at one of the best places. I started off in, in my opinion, the best room in the house. And then the second best room is where I finished it off. This casket is really, really cool. This whole setup inside of here is really cool. I'm really glad that I got to put a funeral home on the channel for you guys to enjoy back at home. Check it out. Make sure that you subscribe. Make sure that you like it if you like it. Make sure that you leave me a comment because you guys know I love to hear from you guys. This was really, really cool. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I already said it, but I, I'll say it again. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I enjoyed it thoroughly. I enjoyed exactly what I saw here. I got all those creepy vibes out of it. Really cool explorer. I really, really dug this. So guys, we'll see you at the next explorer. Peace.